şekilde teslimatta kullanın. Bunu alın. Yok diyor ki ondan sadece bonus diyor. 50 tane var karavan içinde diyor. So in if you want to know anything more down here you will have in this folder here you have all your manuals for all your products and everything in it so you can have a read and have a look through and see if you want to learn a little bit more okay okay so and that's pretty much it for the cupboard that's you know don't want to overload you with too much information so Seeing as it's your new van, you'll find you'll take it all in and then probably drive out and forget most of it. But once you've camped in it two, three times, you'll start to realise and have your own patterns and routines. So, if we duck around behind your head, <laughs> thank you. So just to get with the power. So these are all your fuses here. So if they if something stops working or whatever and it pops out, just press them in. That'll just start them all back up again. And stuff, so you just press them in like that. Yep. So, um, if you're finding it keeps doing it, check your appliances. It could be a kettle doing it, it could be something like that. So, just check your appliances. If it's none of that and it still continues to happen, let us know. Okay. So, and we'll have a look into it and stuff at either first service or something like that. So, this one here, your blue one, is your 240 isolator for your air conditioner. So, it's just for the air conditioner. So, If you're on holidays and something goes wrong with your air conditioner and you're a bit worried about it and you're worried about your power, you can actually switch the whole thing off and you don't have to worry about it. You won't have air con or heating in it, but at least you don't have to worry about your power or any problems with that. So that's just to isolate and shut it down. All of the gas and 240 electrical products will have an isolator and be able to switch them off. Yeah. So you'll either have the taps to turn off your gas or you'll have, you know, 240 switches to switch them all off. So, um, this is your uh, main safety switch here. 
So we all know how they work. Flick, yep. <laughs> so all of your TV stuff's here. So you just pop that up there. And there's your TV bracket, which you can swing around and stuff to wherever you want. There's your cords just behind it, all your plugs and leads. When you're traveling, of course, take your TV off and move it. Most people put them behind your cushions and stuff there, because then if they bounce, you don't have to worry about them breaking and stuff. Um, What's it? This, oh this. Yep. So this is this, and this is your wine guard. So it's your TV aerial. So when you to plug in your TV and stuff, what you'll have to do is you wind them up. So just like this, everything in the van, whenever it stops, you stop too. So don't try and force them or push them. Okay. I'll just start this thing all done. Yeah. Yeah, so it's standing up, yeah. And then now I'm spinning the aerial. So you're finding your reception. So okay. remember your big rabbit ears that you used to, you know, yeah, see yeah, on the yeah, TV? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. So when you're finished with it and you're packing up though, see that point there? Oh, we're going to the end there. So this point here and this point here have to meet back up like that because that just makes sure it comes back down the same way and doesn't go off the side of your van or anything like that. So, and just to wind it down, you'll hear it go dunk on the roof and feel it stop. There we go. This is doing the work. Um, so here's just the Rocco fans. So these go, you can spin them many, many different ways and stuff just like that. So you just loosen them there to move them wherever you want. And then they just switch on here, just like that. So you can aim them, try not to get my fingers caught in them, towards your bed and all of that. Yeah. And the other one's a timer button there. Any fun at the back side? Yeah, you might have them. Did you get them in your bunks as well? Yeah, there's one there. Yeah? Yeah. Then there you go, yeah. Cool, the question is here, I'll function like this. Yeah. Yep. Um, so then, so in your wardrobes, you will have a 240 point and you'll have USB and 12 volt chargers that you will be able to use and you can access through here to charge all your phones and everything if you want. There is a hanger rail up there as well. Yeah, you got some storage up there as well. <laughs> Asuka asmaya çok güzel yapmışlar oraları. Yeah, it's hanging some stuff yeah. up. These are the lights here. So your little blue light they say is a night light. Um, some people think it's good for the bugs. Like yeah. To get rid of the bugs, but I'm not sure. Uh, but you do have the blue light and stuff there. Um, and up here, so you have two. So you have your... So you just turn that, it'll lift up the hatch and stuff. Yeah, and you've got two way, it's a two way fan, so it will come out and it will also suck out. So because you actually have the two, it's a really good idea to turn one on, have it coming in. Yeah, 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 so keep the nice airflow, especially when you're camping in certain parts of Victoria, it gets quite nice and hot. So, yeah, and you do have your little light switch here as well. And um, when it comes down, it just makes that rattle going. Does it every time. Up there. Like that. Um, so I just check. So that in there is just your, um, it's the back of your uh, exterior shower and stuff. And there is also the uh, gas isolator tap just for your hot water system because it'll be at the back there. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll show you that all outside and stuff. I'll just yeah, let you know that it is under there. Uh, under your bed, I'm going to lift it up. So under here, it's on gas strut, so it'll sit up for you. And um, so you've got all your storage room under here and stuff. So this is your brake safe. So to make sure you're all safe. So all we want you to do really with this is when you're taking it and you're about to go off on the weekend, just press that and make sure your light turns green. Okay. That just means it's charged and it's ready to go and it's working safely. If it's not, just hook up your car and your car will start charging on 12 volt. So, and it will charge up itself. And this is your battery charging system. We don't really show you anything. There's not much to see with it. It just keeps doing its job. But there's a little switch here on and off 
So if you put anything down here and it moves around, it just might knock that switch off. So if you get in the van and nothing's working, just come check there. Is that, yeah. uh, is that ticking noise? Kind of no, like no, no. Okay. It's because yeah. we've got your grey Anderson plugs in. Yep. So it all it's making all the lights flash oh, on the oh, outside oh. and tick. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Once we plug that out, it will stop that and it won't do it again. So it's basically like indicator. It's your indicators. Yeah. 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 Boom, boom, boom. Just give us a chance. Yeah, no, no, no point. <laughs> so, when you're putting it down, just hold on to it because it will get to a certain point and want to just uh, drop. So, and you can, yeah, push, back. Yeah, you can push that railing back in as well. Or you take it, or you can hold it. You can't keep it. No, it's just a normal mattress. No. Uh, um, so, you got your smoke detector there behind you. You got uh, the tire uh, in the picture. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, so your microwave up here runs on 240 and it's just like you want at home. Yep. So very simple. There's your dish in there. Um, yeah, start, stop. When you're free camping, you can't use it though. No, not unless you're going to get a big enough generator to power it. Same as your air conditioner. Okay, so, so air conditioner and that one, is that, those are yeah, those, those 240 two? and washing machine. Okay. Yeah. So really? your fridge is a three-way. It will work on gas, 12 volt, and electricity, and stuff. We've set it on auto, so it's a smart fridge. So it figures out what to do. So if you can't get onto 240, it'll try and go for 12 volt. If it can't, then it'll go to your gas. You can use for the generator, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Generator, share up, and that's it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, 240 or generator. But if you select, yeah, caravan parks and stuff, then that'll be fine and stuff. But if you're on, then yeah, you'll have to get a generator to be able to power it and stuff. Um, so your air conditioner. Oh look up high. So you can turn it on and off here, and you can change all your settings, and it does heat and it does cool. Yep. So just there, but you also have in here your remote for it so and just like at home did just the power turn on and off um, <laughs> your modes all of that uh, it's very simple um, so in your drawer then there kalkıp düğmeye basacaksın şuradan şuraya aslında that's what we're pumping you know for the first hotel you know it's yeah. <laughs> everything's easy I know it is I sit there with everyone and I'm like it's just like at home if you yeah. just use it your washing machine is just like at home they've made it very simple it's not like it used to be with caravans you used to have to go outside turn off your hot water system and turn on your hot now it's just switches in here and done it's all ready to no, go no, 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 no. yeah see you don't have to pay for accommodation again do you so save a lot of money um, but we there is like just little bits of screws and stuff it's just when they're putting everything into your van they just leave them in there for you so in fact you can see the little bit of screws there look you see it? yeah 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 so here are your keys so your one there's two sets in there so there's two for every door um, so the main ones you need to worry about are your little brown ones. They'll be your front door and your front boot. But yeah, you'll just spend, you don't have too many. Last bunch I had was like this. So <laughs> you will be all right. And that's your radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, in here, you got your rev cam there. Uh, they, are they attaching your rev cam now? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I so I might take that. Yeah, I might take that out because I'm pretty sure we would have given them one and stuff to use. So this is just your Bedford solution. It's just a sample we give you. So for your toilet okay. and um, a manual, and that's for your TV cord. Yeah. So uh, you, you. I'll show you how to okay. use a toilet. And one more question. Yeah. Uh, is the water tank for the toilet and uh, drinking water different? No, so what it is, is we have two fresh water tanks under there yep. and the water draws up but it goes into the system for the toilet. It does come from that tank, yep. but that tank comes from all from the same thing, but it has separate pipes. You go in there yep. and your, your number ones and twos <laughs> go into the cassette and then you dispose of the cassette somewhere else. Okay. So all of your water does draw from the same two tanks, but yeah, there's no... 
It's not going to backwash into there and come back out your tap. Don't worry. You can also get filter systems if you want to that you can put on, but it'll just still come from the tank water. So, um, um, so over here, you've got little light here. You've got two settings on it so you can get a bit brighter. And you got your range hood for your stove and everything here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and you can like take out your filter and give it a clean and everything up yeah. here. Oh, with your air conditioner too. You have filters here. And um, we recommend cleaning them as much as you can, like as soon as they start to get dirty, just to make sure your air conditioner runs best. So otherwise it'll just start slowing down. Um, so, so um chick is it? <laughs> So with your table, you have your table here. So I'll, yeah, you're right. So there's a little handle here and that is what will move it oh, okay. whichever way you want it. So it just goes like that. Giremeyenler um, için ya da girdin then, içeri doğru çekmek için. If you pull it out and if you want, you can buy a tick cushion and you can push that black button there. Ah. There, and you push that down. Yeah, and then you can have that little. Yeah, it just sits down there. And then you get a cushion that measures from here to here. Yeah. And so you just got that little bed if you do want it. So if you want, you can kick him out. Yes. Ona göre. Buraya gidersin. No, and it literally just pops up. It only one locks into one position, and that's at the position for the tea cushion and stuff. But that will move wherever you want it. So this is strong enough to hold. The yes. First, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So if, as long as you just line it up there and there, it won't. The tea cushion it'll overhang. I mean, the table will overhang. But yeah, no, they're strong enough. That is very solid inside. It is a plastic cover on the yeah. thing, but it is all metal inside. So yeah. Um, and then a telescopic, so it goes down inside of each other to arrange more support. So that's that. So yeah, your little lights there. So, um, your windows. So you got your fly screens up top. Ugh. They've got magnets in between, so they stick together. And then you got your blockers. And light. Look at the uh, when you are driving with it, they recommend to make sure you leave them open. So there's too much movement in a van and it, it can cause them to buckle them both. So to open them just like this, and then you can put them out like that, and then you can That's shut it. your fly screen. So... <laughs> Um with your windows, if you're storing them up and you're not using your van, so we recommend to shut your blockers. So and that protects your colours because otherwise the sun will fade it all. So all we recommend is just pull those up. And just sit it like that. Yep. So there is because the magnet strip inside, what'll happen is if there's a bit of condensation or anything, they'll fuse together and then they become really, really difficult to pull apart. So if you just leave that gap, it's not enough for the sun to get in, but it's just enough for you to pull them apart. Um so your stove. So you lift up there and unhook this one and just like that. And stuff, so you got your three gas and your one electric. So for your gas, just like this. And it should come through, but there's no gas in there. Yeah. So, and it would light up. You just hold that knob in there. So, and you have your grill here and your oven. So, you got little two trays there, but there's no tray in here because you just take this one. Okay. Okay, so that way, stop rattle yeah. and stuff. And then you have throw your trays there. Come on. Alright. Alright, <laughs> uh, just like that. So here's your water tank. So this is your grey water. Your grey water at the moment is quite full. 
and these are your fresh water tanks. So, yeah. So, um, <coughs> grey water, you just fill normal water. So, you no, know, your grey water will fill itself from your. So, what will oh, happen okay. is, yeah, your grey water is all your dirty water yep. and stuff. So, we do. You just got a starter kit, didn't you? So it's, it's got the so hoses exactly and the stuff. Yeah. And yeah, so you connect your hose up and usually in a caravan park there will be a spot where you can put the hose down to dispose of your grey water. Okay. So because you've got chemicals and stuff in it, they don't like you necessarily just putting it on the ground unless you're using everything that's to be safe and stuff. So yeah, but at a caravan park, they'll have a spot where you can usually throw that hose and get rid of it. But I'll show you where you can I literally just open it and it'll all just come out of the tank and I'll show you where you can fill up your fresh water so, but that's just your tanks there so for your stove to work too you just need to have that open there's a safety switch in it so just to make sure um, um, so under your chairs here you have all your storage and stuff you can access from either end there or underneath here there's the little oh okay yeah. yeah so you can store all in here underneath as well evet evet altlarını kullanabiliyoruz eee üstlerde de var um so your fridge all right so as i said before your fridge is a smart fridge and it'll pick what's the best thing to do for you guys um so all you really need to know is if you tap the button you can actually scroll through and you can change your temperatures here. So you can make it hotter and colder, obviously. So if you're finding your food's not getting cold enough, just turn it up and click it and stuff. And there's your auto. So see it's on auto and it's using the PowerPoint now because that's what's best for it to use. It's plugged in and so it'll go to your 240 and stuff. So also when you're storing your fridge up, so you can pull those out and just gives you that gap because otherwise when they're closed they get the moldy yep. and stuff so we just you know got them there and another one here so just while you're storing it you don't have to worry about your fridges getting all okay. moldy and yuck and if you're traveling and you've got it full and you've got stuff all in here like you've got all your food in here if you just push it all to the back and then you push them ah, and yes. it will make sure and hold yeah. it all in a bit better. Ben bunu diyordum işte o bulağın içinde böyle çalkan yeah. olacak. <laughs> so that. Um, so you got your dividing şey curtain ya. here and stuff. Um, your bunks. So your bunks have your fan and the fan and three fans. Oh, yep. fenleri de yep. var hepsinde. And then they've Eşen got... saçı da olanlar ama ha. <laughs> and then yeah they've got usbs 12 volts and 240 and a light oh, up that that okay. end yep yeah. for them ah, so, so yeah. 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 sleep in this way yeah so yeah, yeah 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 but then it's your choice <laughs> really yeah. if you're more comfortable sleeping that way it doesn't matter hepsinin başında ışıkları yeah. var fişler var usb şeyleri var <laughs> so, um, so you got all your storage in here and then you have your washing machine so literally just open it it's just like your one at home so you got your settings your 30 minute cycles and all of that yep and then your little tray here to put all your solutions in and so the only thing we let you know is that once you start it you can't open it Okay. Okay. So if you pack up and want to leave, it'll shut it down, but it'll just sit there full of water, and it won't. Yeah. So you'll have to get home and then continue to restart the cycle and let it come. Would out. it come out or would it? It probably won't come out. Okay. We do get a few of them come back in broken because people try and force the doors open and stuff like that. Don't do that. They lock. Okay. It's a typical front loader thing to do. So um, just make sure you don't start a cycle before you pack up, and you'll be right. Sure. So. <laughs> Um, so in here, where you got your bathroom, so when you're traveling and you got it hooked up to the car, we just recommend yep. to have it latched here, yep, so. um, and then you can push this down, and that will lock into that hole, or let it go and it'll lock in there, give you your privacy, and then you just click it up, so just like that, lock in, and then just click up there, yep. so, 
with this one we just recommend to have this like that there is a magnet on the door but it will open, open yeah when you're traveling we i wouldn't trust it and we also recommend to keep the strap attached i didn't do that very well um here so that way it doesn't fall out and scratch all the bottom of your base and stuff yep. oh, yeah. <coughs> and there's more storage here yeah more storage more storage um you got a little light up here so and then you've got your toilet so the oh you got your three light switches that they'll do in here in here and in your shower so the three of them some people get confused and try and find this light switch and it's in here um so with your toilet that will light up orange Okay. When that lights up orange, it's letting you know that the tank is full mm -hmm. and you need to get rid of it and <laughs> you need to empty it. It doesn't give you any leeway or anything, so don't try and use it Keep one going. more time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and stuff. That's your flush button. So all you do, open it, use it, and there's a little there, and that drops down into your cassette. Yep. And empties it for you, and then you just flush it. The rest is all done outside. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. And there will be a correlating number either on the lock there or it'll be on the lock here. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm just check them out. I'll show you the awning last because it's always the biggest thing there. <laughs> um, so, your door. Yep. So, when you're inside to open it, you just pull down. And when you want to separate them, just like that, you just go up and they'll literally separate. So you can now lock that and secure it and it's a proper fly screen or like a security fly screen. Uh, and then literally just push like that, that and they all push in. We recommend just giving them a push because you'll see there's three different locking points. So when you lock it and when you put them back together, we just recommend just checking that they're all locked in properly. And so when you lock it, that will lay flat against the door. When it's unlocked, it'll pop out like that. So if it's a flat, don't try and pull it out. You'll just break the handle and then you'll have to get a replacement. You've just locked yourself out of your van. <laughs> so we get a few people that do it, usually after, you know, a couple of beverages. So, <laughs> yeah. So... Um, your step is just up and back like that, and this comes out like that. Okay. So, would it hit anything? Huh? Like when, when when driving, would it hit anything? Is Unless, it... like, if you're gonna go do off roading and stuff, and then it, oh, you, you you go careful with it. But usually on the general road, because your wheels are there, you've got your you stabilize the legs, they're not too much higher, so yeah, you should be fine. If he's fine, he's a little bit lower than they're very easy to take off, it's 4 volts and stuff, so you can also take them off. Um, Mike, can I get here? There's a little light up here. So just watch it because it will drain your 12 volts on you. <laughs> and stuff, so it's literally like that. So they do come with a 30 kilo limit on them, so just be careful, don't go stacking them too much, but 30 kilo is perfect. Um, um, your jacking points for it are here, and you'll have a jack in the front room for it. So, actually, they get in the back there, they get in the front room. Um, so this is your cassette, so all you do is lift that and it just pops out of there. Now you can lift it out because they get a fair bit of weight, there's a bit of water in there, I'll get the boys um, to clean it all out, but yeah they get a bit of weight so it's on wheels so you can... It's not that, it's not, it's not, it's not that big. They're not, yeah, yeah. They just get a bit away, and we have a lot of elderly people that so just to make it easier. Okay. And you know, you get to do your walk with it. Uh, <laughs> so, where do we. So, usually at a caravan park or even in small towns, there are places that you can jump. Um, 
Maşallah. Renge bakar mısın? Uyuma bakar mısın? Nasıl oldu? That's a number nine key. So you can use the same key and there's your key there. So you can use the same key for that door, those doors. So it just saves you having one less key on all of Because you come with about 10 keys. I'll leave that. Um, so you've got the other outlet and USBs at 12 volts there. And, uh, and down here you have your stabiliser legs. So these are to stabilise the van, they're not to level the van. So what will happen is you'll pull up, usually caravan sites they're pretty level so you should be all right and all you'll do is make sure it's level and you're ready to go you're not staying in the van and everything's rocking to one side and then just stop that swaying motion because you'll even notice when you jump in it and, yeah so that'll just that's to stabilize and stop that so to make sure it just sits on a firmer ground if they're not so don't try to lift the van not lift up, up, isn't it? yet so they're just to stabilize uh, you can actually buy levelers and stuff if you want. Um, so then you drive on to them and stuff and to make sure your van's not sitting that way or this way. And stuff. Um, so you've got the back, you speak higher and there's your reverse camera up there and stuff. Um, they put your number plate already on for you and all of that. So around here is your grey water. So this is your grey water and that's your grey water tank. So all of your washing and everything, your washing machine, your shower and your sink will all come into this tank. Yep. And then if you just open this, it can either just get rid of it like that or there's you hook your sully hose up, your grey water hose, and then chuck it into the actual hole they'll have or whatever to get rid of your grey water. Um, if you're storing it up and it's going to be more for more than a week or something and stuff We just recommend give them a rinse out with some fresh water and then put some bicarb down there It'll just stop that smell because they do get pretty stinky if you're not cleaning them out and stuff because it's all your dirty wash water uh, <coughs> How do we do that? Just through, yeah, just so no, just grab a bit of bicarb and put it down your kitchen sink and your oh, bathroom yeah. sink and just let it go through and I'll go now yeah, yep, rinse it all out. So that's your inlet. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your inlet for your power, for your 240 there. That's where you plug into the caravan park. Um, so these are just for your back of your fridge. They're all just vents to keep it all cool and all of that for you. So your little 12 volt fan, that was that one I was telling you to flick on when it gets yep. hot and stuff in there. Um, your other jacking point for this side here. Okay. Um, you've got all your vents up here just to make sure you can all breathe and not die in your gas or anything. <laughs> and under here, these are your batteries. So you'll have two batteries in here. Yeah. And then you'll have your Gray Anderson here. So this is your Gray Anderson and you can plug it in portable solvers into that and things like that um, to help out. Um, this is your external shower, so there'll be two taps and a little hose in there that you can 
rinse off your feet, just get dirty, all of that sort of stuff. Have a shower outside quickly so you don't get all the stuff inside. And all of that. It's good for when you're on like beaches and muddy and stuff yep. to get rid of all the dirt. Uh, and these are to fill up your water tanks. So you can fill both up and stuff. Fill this one up and it'll start to spew out there when they're both full. Okay. So yeah, because they both go into the, they have two tanks but they'll all leave to the same place. So, uh, and stuff. And you've got keys to lock them and everything. Oh, that's the other thing. With your cassette too, we recommend to lock it with your toilet cassette. People steal them. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds really bad, but what happens is people go along, they use them, they forget them and leave them somewhere. I'm assuming they cost about $200. So instead of going and buy one, they know you'll majority of the time have an unlocked door, they just walk up and take it. So just lock it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, should we get a spare one? Oh, you probably won't have to worry. We do get some people to do it, but they do that more in case they can't empty it straight away yep. and stuff. It's more for those reasons, not necessarily for thing. Like, if you're locking it, you know what I mean, then you won't really have a problem. Um, you can gel up with all the holes down here. There it is. I just get on. There's no way I'm going around stealing someone's food, but you know, people, you know, some people are desperate. Um, so this is your hot water system in here. Uh, if you need to ever access it, you can just unscrew it there and it'll just open up. You don't really need to do anything in there. Um, just be aware that it does warm up a fair bit and it gets hot. Yeah. And if you've got little kids running around, just be careful they don't burn themselves. <coughs> so, if you come through here, like that, there, open it up. So you got your jack there, you got your thin plates and all your awning poles. This is for your legs, for your legs down there to wind them up and down. And for your tires, there. So they, it is a gal box and they do get a fair bit of condensation in them so I wouldn't be putting anything in there that I necessarily wanted to be 100% waterproof. And stuff. So if you wanted more waterproof, go into your tunnel boot and stuff, not your front boot. So they do get a little bit of water in them. They do have a drain pipe on each side, just in case. So, and you can also, that's an 18 mil thick wall. Mm -hmm. So you just can screw into that if you want to use it to pipe, put stuff on. So extra, you know, your hoses and all of that, you can screw onto that. That's 18 mil thick wall. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Tamam. Oraya evet. takarız. O zaman güzel o duvara monte için bir şeyler olsa takarız. Evet. This is so good. Gas bottle is full or empty? Uh, I think your gas bottles would be empty. Did you okay. want them full? We can get them full if you want for you. Ash can do it. It'll, I think it's $30 a bottle. Yapsınlar. Yes. Oh, so we can do it now during all this stuff. It's a five minute job. You just can't can you... get one of the other boys to do it. Okay, can you do it now, please? Yeah, yeah, and then we'll just pay for it in shop. Yep. So, all right, sweet. Thanks, Ash. <laughs> so this is a stone yard here. Um, so it just protects all the bad stuff. If you ever need to remove it, you can just take out the pins there. And everything will pop down. So you just have to be careful that you don't get any dirt on the floor. So you just fall out. Then turn around, lift up the black handle, you've got the silver one underneath, 
and then lift. to just go back so if I actually let this go and move the whole thing will just go and stuff so you just slide across like this go back into the middle and then let's go and then just going to like that so we recommend instead of going on one area just go a little bit to the side so it doesn't yeah because the moment the sun comes out you're just going to end up with a big warp in it
only that you love me. 